This is the festival. Something Britain devised halfway through this century as a milestone between past and future to enrich and enliven the present. A diverse place of serious fun and light-hearted solemnity, reclaimed from the bomb rack and the decay of years. Here, in the heart of London, open house on the South Bank to those from home and to those who come from other lands. How to show the essence of Britain. Here, beneath the dome of discovery, vast as a city square, appears the story of the great researches, of man's probing into mysteries, of his revelations of the hidden worlds, his mastery of unknown things, his harnessing of secret forces. the world of the pioneers, of Darwin, who opened new doors of thought, of Newton, of atomic research, of Captain Cook, of nuclear physics, and great works of humanity. Florence Nightingale. Alexander Fleming. And so to the world of today, to the things we make, machines, radar, and jet propulsion, speed and ingenuity. The skills that made the British workmen famous. These are things our festival shows in the making. And this is the solid center of the festival. Design and craftsmanship and quality that go to make the fame of Britain's goods. Well, 
we get all sorts, all types, all opinions. That's us, or some of us, for we are more than that. We are the lion and the unicorn. The lion our strength, the unicorn our imagination. We smile at our follies and our most profound beliefs, such as tradition, such as peace, such as justice. faced a belief in the equal value of the nobler matters of patriotism and in the white knight of Lewis Carroll and in the works of Mr. Lear, the long-nosed lady and Alice. Beside it all runs the Thames upstream to Battersea, linking the big show with its brighter half. to our guests and delight to ourselves, sharing our pleasure in the things we know so well and preserve so consistently. Lights and laughter, all the merriment of a people who build with gladness on an old inheritance.